All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be shooting a three stage here at the shop, and we're gonna go over some of the other things that have been going on here at the shop. So you guys are well aware of this here color. This is the 46V, but it looks like Hyundai is trying to get in the game and do some of the uh, nice vivid reds. Definitely not the same as this. This one's a lot nicer. Let's go over and check that out. That's the one we're gonna be shooting today. And I wanna show you some of the other stuff that we've been doing here at the shop lately. All right, so this here is the Hyundai. This is a 2023 and this paint coat is Y2E. And we're gonna be shooting this one here apart. You guys know that's how we do it here. So we've got a new fender, two new bumpers, a wheel opening molding, and then we're gonna be blending the door on this one. So we're gonna be panel painting this one up to the actual hood and this post. And we're staying out of the hood and the uh, post here because mainly this is what matches up right here. So what we gotta do is get our color good enough to fit right in here nice and get a good match. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be shooting that one and you guys will hang out with me here today and uh, we'll go through some of the stuff that we've been doing here at the shop. So we do have a new thing that's gonna be coming to the channel and uh, we got Rivian certified now. So you guys will be seeing us doing some of the Rivians here at the shop. They're really not that uh, popular out there right now being they're a new company, but we're gonna be getting them in here and shooting them. And uh, this is one of our first ones we have here in the shop. So we'll shoot that one with you guys in some of the uh, next videos. But today we're gonna be shooting that three stage, so. All right, so we're over here at the bin. We've got our blend door off. We've got our fender here behind it. And uh, then we've got our two bumpers up here on the rack. We'll get them down and we'll start prepping them out. And we're also gonna be doing some other stuff with this job, that way we maximize the booth. So let's get them down. Let's do it. All right, so while he's getting those prepped out, this is one I shot yesterday. This here is a 1500 truck. This one was a full overall on this one. And uh, definitely a lot of work. I've done quite a few big jobs here in the last couple of days at the shop. That's why I haven't had a chance to post anything on here for you guys, but we're back at it. So we're gonna unwrap this one. This one came out really nice and clean. And I did add some more stuff to my actual uh, tools over here at work. I picked up two more of my stands. These here are the best ones I've seen. They sell them over at Lowe's. And I like them because they join together. That way you don't have that gap in between when you're uh, walking along the planks. And these are really nice here because these are adjustable. So. I recommend these to you guys that are doing the roofs. This made this job a lot easier and you're able to get up there real nice. You guys can see here, it came out really nice and clean. So we'll get this stuff out. We did do the doors earlier in the day. They're out here now. And uh, here they are. These came out really nice and clean and laid down really flat. So I was real happy with this one. And yes, we're still doing the uh, hail damage here. My man Brad's at the shop taking care of this one. That was hit hard with the hail. You guys can see it's got a lot of dents up there on the roof and uh, he's doing his thing. He just started on this trunk here yesterday. This trunk was uh, destroyed and I was looking at it last night thinking to myself, man, I just can't believe how good this guy really is at this stuff, so. All right, so first thing we're doing is cleaning and scuffing the blend panel with the uh, waterborne cleaner and a red scuff pad. Then we're hitting our raw bumpers with the uh, gray scuff pad. Make sure you guys get paid for the raw prep time and the adhesion promoter when you're doing these raw bumpers. And uh, we're gonna check into this one because this is a two-piece bumper and I wanna make sure that they have the actual time on there for this one. So we're doing that. This here is a uh, painted part with a little repair on it. So this will hit with a 600 grit because we're gonna be fully painting this, being that we're coming up to the actual fender with this one and blending the door on this. So we'll prep that out. And then we have our new fender to uh, get prepped out as well. This here's the piece I was talking about that is the lower section of the actual bumper. I wanna make sure this is on the estimate and that it has the raw prep as well on it. So we'll do that. We'll grab the fender out of here real quick. And uh, also I wanted to show you guys the racks. These are nice because they fold up nice and they can stay in a small area. 
uh, and out of the way that way when you're not using them but I'll tell you what it's a game changer not having to get five gallon buckets and uh, dealing with all that stuff that I have through the years get the stuff it costs a little bit of money to get them dialed in it was about 600 bucks that way I could do both sides of the actual vehicle I got four of these now but it's gonna save you from having a problem and maybe even falling down off of a uh, bucket or something like that so think about yourself because that's who you're helping out in this one all right, so we'll go ahead and hang the fender up. That way it's on the stand at the right height as the door. Make sure you get your fenders and your doors lined up. That way when you're doing these three stages, you're gonna be painting them the same exact way, the same height, the same distance, and the same air pressure. That way you can get a good match. So I like these innovative tool stands for that reason because you can set everything to the same height as the uh, next panel next to you. All right, so we've got it up there. Now we'll hit it with 400. And the other nice thing about these is they're on here good. They're not gonna fall off and have any problems with them. So these are the single sided and uh, these work the best to me for the fender. So we'll get this over here. We'll hit it with our 400 and then we'll uh, get the stuff loaded in the booth. All right, so we're wiping it down now. We got everything in the booth that we're going to be handling here with this one. And I wanted to let you guys know that this was missed on the original estimate. So a lot of times these bumpers will be together. The two piece part will be one and sometimes the estimators will miss it. So make sure you check your estimate and uh, go over it well. That way you do not lose time because it's definitely another step. We've got another bumper in here that we wouldn't have gotten paid for. So also the raw prep, don't forget that. So We've got that job in here. We've got a Honda Accord, and then we've got a top head for a Silverado. This is the one we did the overall on. This was the last piece on the truck that wasn't on the estimate. We decided to go ahead and get it cleaned up for the customer. That way he has a full, nice, beautiful truck. So we're gonna get this one shot now. And the first thing we're gonna do is check our chips. We'll go in the computer, see what they have for this one. I'm sure they don't have much, being this is a brand new color. So we're gonna be doing this one and uh, seeing what we get out of it first, and then we'll do our tinting and go from there with it. All right, so first thing we'll do now is put our paint coat in, which is Y2E, and we'll see if we have any chips. That way we can start out with that, see if we have a match on it, and it does have chips. So it is a tri-coat. You guys see there, tri-coat? Then we have our prime, we have a lighter coarser, we have a lighter face, darker flop, and we have a lighter coarser. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and get our chips out. We've got two chips, and then we have two specials. And the specials are formulas that were done in the field that people sent in to PPG, and then they went ahead and matched them. That's where the variants come from in your actual uh, specials, so. All right, so we've got two chips you guys see here. And uh, these are the ones that we have that are actually actual chips. And there are some specials, so these don't look too bad. What we're gonna do is, Grab the fender, we'll bring it over by us, that way we can do a better match. All right, so we've got the fender, that way we can match this up. What we'll do is we'll bring it outside because you not only wanna look at these in the shade in this kind of lighting, but you wanna look at this outside as if it would be in the sun. That way you can get both aspects of the job. So we're gonna bring it out and check it over here. All right, so you definitely wanna bring them out in the sun and check out your color, not only with the sunlight, but I like looking at it with the natural sun I like looking at it with my sunlight, that way I can really beam in on it and get a good look at the flop of it. But this one here looks like it's gonna be pretty good. We're gonna have to spray it because a lot of times you're gonna wanna do that to make sure that you have the right amount of coats because on these here three stages, they don't tell you how many coats are on this. So you gotta kinda guess. And the best way of doing that is to spray a card. That way you can see your letdown panel you know how many actual coats of the candy to put on this job rather than just taking a guess and having a problem. So don't just trust the chip, always spray a card. That way we know we're not gonna have any problems later. All right, so I wanted to show you guys this here. This is an actual spray out card done by PPG. So we had a color in the shop. The variant was very, very far off. So I reached out to my local rep and he went ahead, came in, he took a metal piece off the car, brought it to the lab and then made this color up. So you guys see here that they will do these type of things for you. So if you have a color that's really far off, go ahead and save that metal piece. That way next time the rep comes in, he can take it with them and they can get that dialed in. So now we have our own special that we have made 
and that's where you get all your specials from for the uh, different lines of paint. So we got our own now and that'll help you guys out. So we had them spray the card for us of the new color and then everything is on the back now for the actual match for that vehicle now. So those are the kind of things that you wanna do and think about because you're gonna be helping out all the other painters out there by getting the specials built up on these colors when they don't have a good match for them. So let's go ahead and mix up that paint and start shooting them jobs. All right, so we sealed the card. You guys can see that. Make sure you put the same sealer on the card as you do on the parts. That way you have the right shade. A lot of times you'll be a little off from the actual spray out cards that you see that have the shades on them. So you wanna have the same exact sealer on that card. That way, once you check it, you know you're gonna be on the money with it. So we're gonna go ahead and let that thing sit up and uh, tack up well. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our wet bed down on our blend panels. And then you guys seen on the edge of the door, I seal that as well. You wanna make sure that everything that's gonna meet up has the same exact thing on it, especially with these very transparent colors. So a lot of times with some of the colors that you know have good coverage, you don't have to blend and put sealer on your blend panel. But on these here, you wanna do that just so that you know you're gonna be good. So we're gonna let it set up and then we'll move into our wet bed and our base coat. All right, so in the meantime, while we're letting that sealer dry, I figured I'd show you guys the GTR. It's almost completely built. You guys see here now the bumpers on it with the carbon fiber and then it also had a new carbon fiber lip that went on the bottom so this thing's coming together well now we've got the uh, carbon hood the carbon bumper the carbon lip and uh, we've just got a couple other things to do to finish up on this one and this one here will be going home so as well as that one here's a mustang that we shot this week we did basically an overall on this one here the uh, owner did some customizing to it. He's going to be changing up some of the parts on this. He went ahead and put special louvered windows in this one to uh, give it a cool look. I'm not sure what that is, if it's a special edition. And uh, then he put a new hood on it that you guys would have seen if you follow me on Instagram. Check me out at Car Candy Man. You'll see some of that stuff. But we basically shot the whole vehicle on this one as well this here week. So we're doing quite a bit of work. Let me show you another one we did. And then this here is a Jeep that we shot. This is a really nice color that is on this one here. Uh, it's kind of like a teal, but uh, in the video it looks bluer, but it has a lot of green used to it on the flops, but definitely a cool color. This is another one we shot during the week that you can see on Instagram if you follow me. All right, then we got Brad over here doing the old PDR here in the shop on these hail damage jobs. You guys know I'm a big fan of his work. And uh, he's got this quarter panel now fixed up he did the trunk let me take you over there and show you that thing all done so here's the trunk all finished up this thing was hammered with hail damage all across the whole top of this thing and it looks beautiful now so this one here we're just putting a hood on it and then this one will be all finished up and it'll be a nice quality job that way we do not have to do a lot of repair work to this vehicle here nice and clean a quality job with mostly oem paint that's the way to do it and then we got my man roger doing his uh cleanup getting them ready for the customers. It's uh, gotta go, everything's gotta go. You guys know that that's the sound in the body shop. They all gotta go home.
All right, so that's one coat of base, and we went with Prime on that. Prime looked the best. It was a little bit light, so it wasn't vivid enough to me. So what I did was I left out some of the trace white, which is a 402 in the actual PPG system. I left out about eight to nine grams of white on the ground coat, which is gonna make it darker, and that's gonna let it be more vivid. So a lot of times when I check my chips, what I'll do is I'll tint as I'm mixing the color. And I know how much to put in just because I've been doing this a long time and I've used PPG for many, many years. So you got to know the concentrate of each toner. That way you get familiar with how much to leave out or how much to put in. So that's the first coat. We'll go ahead and we'll let that set up. And if you guys see on the spray out card, I masked it off. That way, once that spray out card is fully done, I'll have indicated what sealer I use next time when I go to use that card. That way I can say, okay, this is the sealer we need for this spray out. Just don't spray over the whole card because then you don't know what sealer you use on that custom mix. So let's go ahead, let that dry, and we'll put on coat two with the ground coat. All right, so that's coat two. And that gun we're using is the uh, Exodus, the 1.3 OP on that one. So you guys see that that light really comes in handy on them reds because they're very transparent and you're able to see all your edges. A lot of these newer bumpers have a lot of areas where moldings clip in. You wanna make sure that you get in there nice because you'll see through it if you don't. And that light really helps out. So let this flash, we'll go into our control coat which is gonna be just for the metallic orientation of the actual job. So we'll pull back, we'll lower our pressure, we'll dust it, we'll even out the metallics, and then we'll be moving into the candy. All right, so we've got our spray out card now and we brought it outside that way we can see the actual way it's gonna look out here. So I don't know what you guys can see, but I'm gonna be going with four coats of the candy on this one to get it more vivid. It needs it to give it the look that it has here. So on this card now we have our sealer. We have one coat, we have two coat, we have three coat and we have four coats of the candy on here. And I like to put down the Sharpie before I clear it. That's the way it's trapped and you can't wipe it off later and we can use this card for uh, a while. But this one here, like I said, we're gonna be going with four coats on it. That's the best look. Now that we have this verified, we're able to go in there and get that job finished out. Check it to this as well, that way we know. You guys can see there that four coats looks awesome inside here with the light on it as well. So we're gonna go with four. That makes it nice and vivid. And uh, I think that's where we need to be with this one. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so that's the candy now. We're gonna go ahead and let that set up and dry. That's four coats. 
and then we'll be clearing this one with the 2021 all together and I'll show it to you all finished up. All right, so that one's all finished up and now it's about noon. So we're gonna go ahead and eat. We'll bake this one and we'll see how far we get today in the day with some of these vehicles. You see, we're making good progress on that Silverado. We got the glass guys here, they're doing their thing and we got the pad in the booth. So I think we can get this one wrapped up today, that whole big overall paint job. What do you guys think? All right, this will be the next load going in. All right, we got our next load ready. We've got two doors for a black Tesla. We're gonna be panel painting these here. And then we have a 25D three-stage Pearl we're gonna be shooting in here. That's a raw brand new cover. And then we have another VW bumper in here. So we got kind of a light day today and uh, we're getting set up for Monday. So let me take you outside now and uh, show you what we got to prime for Monday. All right, so Monday we're gonna have this here Ram. We're getting it ready to prime now. It was a bed, cab corner, door and fender that we're uh, gonna be priming up here. And then we got two bumpers that we're gonna be priming for a BMW. And then we have one of the 46 Vs we're gonna be shooting next week. So stay tuned for that one. We'll do that one on the channel. We got a fender and then a new cover for that one. We'll do those both off. So let's go ahead and get started inside the booth. And then we'll see, like I said, where we finish up here for the day. All right, so I got everything primed up now for Monday. You guys seen I hit it with the guide coat and check this out. So they actually got the truck fully assembled back together, everything. Lights, hood, moldings, everything is assembled on this one now. And even the interior is done. So this is ready to go home now. And this was in the booth this morning. You guys seen that. They actually beat me on me finishing that load in there i still got to clear that and they had this truck built before me let's do a walk around real quick this will get cleaned up monday from old roger and then this one will be heading home so really good job let me finish up the uh job over there of clearing and then i'll show it to you guys all finished up
All right, so we put the fender on too. I wanted to show you guys the color match on the fender to the actual pillar and into the hood. So we got a nice color match too. We just wanted to check this one before we left. All right, so that's the day. You guys see, I went ahead and I pulled my fine line while it was still tacky. That way it comes off nice and clean and you don't have to worry about having a jagged edge on it. So I hope you guys got something out of this video with the red three stage. Do your spray out car, double check it, do your let down panel. That way you know how many coats to do. And you can also bring back your spray out car to the chip to see that if it matches the actual chip that you went with. So we did tint that a little bit. We made it a little bit darker. That way it was more red and uh, it worked out well. You guys seen that. So I hope you guys got something out of this and uh, enjoyed hanging out with me today and seeing what goes on here at the shop. Dan and Dustin definitely did a heck of a job on building that 1500 Silverado. You guys seen it. This was one day from the morning till about four o'clock these guys worked till and uh, they did a phenomenal job. So I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys on the next one.